There's no better way to spend a cold, rainy day than curled up with a book you love. But who actually invented books in the first place? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. The very first forms of writing date back almost 6,000 years ago to an ancient people called the Sumerians who started etching in their early alphabet into moist clay tablets using a triangular tool called a calamus. The clay was then fired in a kiln to harden. This new ability, writing things down, proved to be popular, and for the next thousand or so years, tablets were the only good way to do it. That's until papyrus scrolls came along. The oldest known scrolls date back to ancient Egypt, almost 4,500 years ago. Papyrus is a thick material made from thin strands of papyrus plant stem glued together that's more like a fabric than a paper. This was an upgrade from the heavy clay tablets, but scrolls still weren't simple. They were usually between 10 and 50 feet long and usually took two hands to use because they were so heavy. The papyrus would also crack easily, but before long, the Romans had a solution. They created the codex, which sounds like a secret gadget, but is just a series of scrolls that were bound together and opened like a book. The wooden covers protected the pages, which were now made from a material called parchment made from animal skins. Over in China, the earliest books were made of thin pieces of bamboo bound together with hemp, silk, or leather. Sometime between 618 and 907, the very first books were printed in China. They were made using a time-consuming method called woodblock printing, where the words are carved into wood and stamped onto pages. In the 1040s, a Chinese man named Bi Zheng invented movable type printing, which used pre-made character blocks made of ceramic or clay. This design would later be improved on by Johannes Gutenberg, who invented the printing press. This changed everything, because for the first time, books were mass-produced quickly. Before the printing press, people only copied a couple pages per day, but now thousands of pages could be produced. That means that books and the incredible knowledge they can contain became available for more and more people at cheaper and cheaper prices. Today, books are all made from using the same basic process. The words are printed on big sheets of paper, which are cut into smaller pages, double the length of a book. Those pages are then folded in half and sewn together. Finally, the sewn and folded pages are cut to final size and glued to the spine of the book's cover. Today, what we think of as a book is always changing. Ebooks, audiobooks, and other digital readers are becoming a bigger and bigger part of daily life. But most experts agree that physical, bound books will never go away completely. And now you know the history of books and the printing press. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And remember to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.